there, my name is Kristen and I'm with Mixel Business Supplies and today I'm going to show you how to use our sublimation templates in Adobe Illustrator. First, to locate the template, go to the product page. For example, doing a license plate, you'll go to the full product page and you're going to download the Corel Draw template. This is a general vector template that will also be used in Adobe Illustrator. Once it's done downloading, you'll receive a file that is an EPS file. This is a vector file. You can copy and paste it to a location that you wish. But go into Illustrator and find the template file and open it. It will open with a white faded area on top and this will be the exact size of the item. And the blue area in the back is the actual template. This is also including some bleed area so that your image and transfer are easy to align with the item after printing. Then go to File and Place to select your design image. You'll align it with your template, but sometimes it may be easier if you right click on it and send it to the back so that the template is above it. So you can kind of see the size versus the image size. Now you can resize your image to match the template size a little bit better. To crop your image into the size of the template, you'll select first the image and then also select the template. Then go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. This will crop the image that is behind the blue template into the size of the template. But you do have to make sure that the template is sitting on top of the image beforehand. So the blue layer needs to be on top of your image before you are able to make it into a clipping mask. Now you can go to your layers and you can just turn off the safe area so that your image will print completely vibrant and then also the template information and you're ready to print. 